What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including is Liv Morgan facing heat over Rhea Ripley's injury, Cody Rhodes switches over to SmackDown, Tony Khan defends releasing all-in footage, WWE scraps another Vince McMahon rule, The Rock promises revenge, Roman Reigns in Hollywood, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at is Liv Morgan facing heat over Rhea Ripley? As the wrestling world still deals with the announcement that Rhea Ripley had to vacate her women's world championship due to her injury, fans are asking whether there's any heat on Liv Morgan for the injury. Now in case you missed it, Morgan attacked Rhea on the 8th April Raw, throwing a chair at her, then throwing Ripley straight into the wall. As Brian Alvarez explained on the Wrestling Observer Radio that Rhea suffered a sprained AC joint in the brawl with Liv Morgan last week. Liv threw her into the wall and she hurt it, a total fluke. Usually takes 46 weeks to regain mobility and up to 3 months to be back ready to go. So is there actually any heat on Liv Morgan? Well, not according to Fightful Select Sean Ross Sapp, as he says there is no heat on Liv Morgan internally for the Rhea Ripley injury, and it was seen as a freak accident from when Rhea Ripley went into the wall last week. Next up, Cody Rhodes switches to SmackDown. Now, it's a sad day for Raw fans as undisputed champion Cody Rhodes is officially listed as a member of the SmackDown roster. Although there was speculation that the American Nightmare might work both brands, the move suggests otherwise. There's always hope though as the WWE draft is coming up and Cody could move back to Raw. Even if he stays on SmackDown, the WWE has maintained a relaxed policy of having wrestlers from other brands showing up on other shows. Next up, plans for new WWE star. Wrestling sensation Julia is WWE bound, but when should fans expect to see the former stardom superstar in the WWE? Fightful Select's Corey Brennan reports Julia has some commitments to finish in Dream Star fighting Marigold, but is expected to wrestle her first WWE match on 7th July NXT Heatwave. As for the specifics of Julia's character, Brennan has also learned from sources in NXT production and creative that while WWE could obtain the rights to Julia's current theme music, there are currently no plans to do so at this time. As far as presentation goes, Brennan has also learned that Julia is currently planning to keep her ring name in WWE. Her fans are eager to see how she does in the WWE following years of exciting matches on the women's circuit. This signing is considered a major one due to Julia's well-earned reputation, but can she stand out from the many other talented female superstars on the roster? Next up, Tony Khan defends releasing all-in footage. Now, Tony Khan is speaking out following criticism over his decision to release backstage footage from AEW's all-in pay-per-view that showed a backstage altercation between CM Punk and Jack Perry. Many fans and pundits were puzzled by the AEW president's move, but Khan claims it was justified. During a chat with 980AM's Chris Russell, Tony explained his reasoning. Well, I think it makes a lot of sense. First of all, FTR Young Bucks ladder match coming up at AEW Dynasty for the World Tag Team Championships. This is the fourth chapter in the FTR vs the Young Bucks. The last time they wrestled, Young Bucks FTR 3 was at Wembley Stadium, AEW All In. And a lot happened that day. They were the third match on the pay-per-view and at one point it looked like we were going to have to call them up and they were going to have to wrestle the first match. Khan seems to feel CM Punk and Jack Perry's real-life backstage dust-up was so unnerving that it shook things up for AEW's Wembley show. Indeed, Khan has claimed that he felt he was in fear for his life following what happened between him and Punk, although it's worth noting that Khan did not air footage of the alleged confrontation involving Punk and Khan. Khan detailed how the all-in debacle has impacted the Bucks vs FTR rivalry. And then they ended up going on the spot they were in, but the Young Bucks said the whole day, everything that happened, it really affected their mental preparation. They weren't able to pray before the match, they were very stressed out. They slipped on the banana peel and lost the match, but they blame FTR. They blame what happened at Wembley Stadium and that's why in hindsight, that's why they refused to shake FTR's hand. Akan's defense seems a little puzzling based on the timing of the footage's release and CM Punk's comments a week before blasting Tony Khan and AEW. Khan's move isn't the first time a promotion has incorporated real-life events into a storyline. Fans have seen this before with real-life dramas such as the Montreal Screwjob and the Matt Hardy Lita Edge love triangle creating compelling storylines. However, his decision to release the footage not long after CM Punk's blistering criticism of Khan and AEW has led to critics pointing out it's more than a coincidence. It's by no means implausible that Khan released the footage out of a misguided decision to defend AEW, but if so, Khan's claim that his decision was based on promoting a storyline is hard to swallow and casts him in a terrible light. Next up, Drew Gulak written off TV by being whacked. 
It appears fans won't be seeing Drew Gulak on WWE television based off the most recent episode of NXT, the WWE has concocted a funny way of addressing Drew's departure. Gulak, who hasn't been on TV following allegations by Ronda Rousey that Gulak once pulled a drawstring on her sweatpants, was written off NXT. Wrestle Talk notes that the faction The No Quarter Catch crew, which Gulak was heavily involved with until recently, has had a missing member for the past couple of weeks, that being Drew Gulak, with now only three members in Charlie Dempsey, Damon Kemp, and Miles Bourne. During their segment, it was remarked by the NQCC that they had done a deal with the D'Angelo family to take care of someone for them. NXT can be a dangerous place storyline-wise if you cross paths with the D'Angelo family as several wrestlers have mysteriously disappeared with no implication that they were whacked by wrestling's version of organized crime. But given this storyline, it seems like it's only a matter of time before Gulak is future endeavored. Next up, Matt Cardona injured. That's bad news for Matt Cardona, aka former superstar Zack Ryder, as Cardona suffered a torn pectoral. Fightful Select Sean Ross Sapp recently tweeted as several promoters have noted that Matt Cardona has informed them that he suffered a torn pec and will require surgery. Cardona has been tearing things up on the indie circuit ever since his 2020 release from the WWE, accumulating regional titles. He's repeatedly stated that he's not only happier than he's ever been, but that he's making more money than he ever did in WWE. We send our best wishes to Matt Cardona for a fast and full recovery. Next up, Carmelo Hayes flips off fans. A big news in NXT is Carmelo Hayes appears to have bid a feisty farewell to the fans before he heads to the main roster. Hayes has appeared on SmackDown before, but he's been in the midst of a brutal feud with Trick Williams. As reported earlier this week, several superstars appear to be locks for a main roster call-up during the upcoming draft, with Hayes seen as a prime pick. While things can always change, Hayes' recent comments appear to confirm he's bidding adieu to NXT fans. Hayes lost a steel cage match to his former friend Trick Williams on the 16th April NXT, then flipped off the fans after the match. He also tweeted, and that's all it's gonna be. Hayes' sign language is the latest example of the WWE stretching its boundaries in terms of profanity, as it gives wrestlers more leeway to express themselves and get heat. Next up, WWE scraps another Vince McMahon rule. And there have been many changes to the WWE product following McMahon's abrupt exit and Tamatonga's recent debut appears to confirm the elimination of another McMahonism. Wrestling News is reporting, it should be noted that Tamatonga was allowed to keep his name. When Vince McMahon was in charge, wrestlers coming from other promotions were forced to change their name from trademark merch purposes. On rare occasions, see Ronda Rousey for example, wrestlers could keep their real names but it was so rare to see someone get to keep their gimmick name. Fans will recall McMahon also dropped wrestlers' first names with Austin Theory becoming Theory and other nonsensical name changes. Next up, The Rock promises revenge. It looks like The Rock hasn't forgotten The Undertaker's surprise appearance at WrestleMania 40 during the Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes match, particularly the spot where Taker chokeslammed The Rock into oblivion. The final boss recently sent a message to the Phenom via Instagram saying, The guy sure knows how to ruin a party. I'll see you down the road, my friend. Payback's a bitch for you, but fun for me final boss. With The Rock working a limited schedule, it's unlikely fans will see one last match between the two of the industry's all-time greats. However, The Rock is a shrewd business person and knows the value in teasing a future match. Would you guys ever like to see take a step out of retirement to face The Rock for one final match? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, Roman Reigns in Hollywood. Last but not least, it looks like Roman Reigns is headed to Hollywood again. A photo has been making the rounds of Roman Reigns filming a heist comedy with Eddie Murphy, Kiki Palmer, and Pete Davidson. The story follows actress Kiki Palmer posting a photo on Instagram of Roman Reigns apparently on set. The film seems to be titled The Pickup. The details are limited, but Roman Reigns seems to be a major cast member. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.